Good day, noble traveler, and take heed as we're about to go on a most epic journey. One full of trials, tribulations, and sweet muscle gains. All on a nine- Wait, oh, what, what are we doing with these robes? What are we, wizards or something? I don't know, I was kind of following your lead. You know what, let's do this one. Buff Dude Style! Welcome to the Buff Dude's nine week journey, in which you go on an epic adventure to uncover the Goblin of Gains. We're with you every step of the way. From daily workouts, deadlifts, one of the top compound exercises, nutrition plans, ah, moving on next we have the Dragon Talons, and also supplement guides. Whey protein is a fast digesting protein, all here on bodybuilding.com. So you too can become a buff dude. Here we go, the beginning. Every character starts with level one, but dreams of one day reaching for that goblet of gains. Is it possible? Hell yeah it is. But it's gonna take a lot of hard work and learning the basics. Yeah. In order to drink from the holy goblet of gains, you're gonna have to grind these compound exercises again and again and again. It's not gonna be easy and it's never gonna work unless you've got that proper form. So in this chapter, we're gonna be covering the golden five. Bench press, deadlifts, squats, pull-ups, and overhead press. Five essential compound exercises every buff dude or girl should have in their arsenal. Think of these as the weapons you use to slay on your way to the ultimate buff payday. A goblet every gym goer covets. The one overflowing with gains. Sweet, sweet gains. Bench press. Now we've only got so many continues, so let's not make that same mistake. Because hey, we all wanna be able to taste from that sweet goblet of gains. So here's three tips to keep in mind when performing the bench press. You're gonna to wanna to keep your feet firmly planted on the floor with your hips and upper back firmly planted on the bench. Go ahead and retract your scapula and pretend you're bending the bar as you're bringing it down to your sternum. What's a bench press gonna work? It's gonna work those chesticles and the triceps as a secondary muscle group. So get out there, hit that bench, and you're gonna quickly realize why this is an indispensable tool in every buff dude or girl's arsenal. Deadlift. Deadlifts, one of the top compound exercises but it can be a little scary starting at level one. So make sure you keep these three things in mind so you can gain the experience to level up. So what you're seeing right now is what you don't want to do. You're going to lose points in the long run, and that's not a good thing. So what you want to make sure to do is keep a nice, rigid, straight spine throughout this movement. Keep a neutral chin and act like you're spreading the floor with your feet, and that's really going to help stabilize your hips and your knee in the long run. You're probably asking yourself, why am I performing the deadlifts? And that's an excellent question. And the answer is, because it's a badass exercise. It's working multiple muscles and multiple joints, huge compound movement, mainly working the posterior chain, which is the hamstrings, glutes, and back. So next time you step in the gym, make sure you hit the deadlift. And that's why I'm included it in the Golden Five. Squat. Squats. As you can see, a lot of things can go wrong in this exercise, but it's not as scary as it looks. Keep these three things in mind and you'll perfect your form in no time. Make sure to keep in mind that the bar is gonna be in the upper trap area rather than the base of the neck. This is gonna help with bar control as you perform this exercise. Corkscrew your feet into the ground to help stabilize the knee and the hip joint. And make sure you push through the midfoot rather than coming up on the toes. This is another major compound exercise. Working multiple muscles and multiple joints in the body is primarily working the legs with the quads, hamstrings, and glutes, but it's also working the core and even the upper body too, over 200 muscles in fact. And that's why this is a necessity to have in your arsenal in the journey to the Goblin Games. Pull up.
Now, I don't know what that is, but it's definitely not a pull-up. So here's three tips to keep in mind when performing the perfect pull-up. You're gonna wanna begin by retracting and depressing the scapula. Go ahead and bring your upper chest to the bar level. And as you do this, go ahead and bring your elbows into your back pocket area. Not only is this exercise an excellent indication of overall upper body strength, but it's also gonna build that big, juicy meat shield. Or as some people like to call the back. Overhead press. The overhead press. Now, as you can see here, there's a few things that can go wrong in this. But make sure you keep these three things in mind and you'll be safe. Keep a straight, flexed legs throughout the duration of the exercise. Vertical torso and vertical forearms at the beginning of the press. Flexed core, and make sure you bob the head out of the way as the bar passes and get that full extension, flex, before lowering it down to the bottom position. So this primarily works the delts, but it's also working the traps and the core as well. And hey, who doesn't want some bolder shoulders, right? I mean, if you're gonna wear some cut-off tank tops, you better be looking damn good. And that's why we included this badass exercise. There you go, Noble Gym Warrior, the Golden Five. Know them, use them, and learn to love them. They'll be your indispensable tools in this nine-week journey. Now go forth, hit the gym, and we'll see you next time for episode two. Thy, Thy buff, buff foods, foods consumed. consumed. Yeah.